put it on repeat. <laughs> 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 I like that. That's clever. A lot is gonna be Jay Z references. All this mini up boss going over the head like a rock fell at the sky. My gift in the curse. Okay, okay, the references are going crazy, but that was I don't think any culture, I don't think any art form, fashion, style, music, hair, I don't think anything is improved by gatekeeping and by not letting people in and by... Itch Chain Reactions, it's XG tape number four, Dirt Off Your Shoulder, Kokona. Um, we got the Jay-Z business woman, well, Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying, uh, set up, <laughs> boardroom, pixelated extras like Harvey's video, let's do it. <laughs> I like that. That's clever. A lot is going to be Jay-Z references. I like how she did that. Tempo change. Okay, okay, the references are going crazy, but that was a clever, that's a clever one. So all these meteor bars going over their head, obviously meteors go over your head, okay? All these meteor bars going over their head like a rock fell. What's a meteor? It's a rock flying through the sky, right? Rockefeller. Uh, rock fell, that's uh, Jay-Z's brand. Rockefeller Records, that's a, a, that's a, that's a deep cut reference, I guess, um, if you're not familiar with him as a businessman. But I like that a lot, that the meteor bars going over their head like a rock fell out of the sky is a really, really good reference. It's talking her up. It's referencing him and his business acumen. Very, very cool. Like a rock fell at the sky. Okay. Am I a gift and a curse? What a coach when I split with this oh, person. Okay. Every time you go hit your friend, these birds are multiversal. Come take a look at a blueprint. Make sure you be looking at it moving. See to the end, and to the end, always okay. ready to show proof. Ooh. If you're feeling like a boss, go and brush your shoulders off. Ladies, be big bosses, go and brush your shoulders off. When they be talking crazy, don't forget your girl told you get that dirt off your shoulder. You gotta get that hey. dirt off your shoulder. You gotta get, get that. Okay. I love the Y2K uh, camera angles. Okay. Yo, that was dope. Um, so I'll just be honest off just right up front. Um, there's definitely going to be some conversations about this. Uh, but this was more of an homage uh, to Jay-Z specifically, but maybe the culture uh, at large uh, rather than a statement piece from Kokona in the way that Maya and Harvey did, um, which would have been my preference, to be honest, because that's what I like. But for what this was, this was very good. This was a very jam-packed with references and respect to a legend. Uh, so we'll go back through that. What I like first off is... Obviously, Jay-Z arguably known more now for being an extremely, incredibly smart and successful businessman, which he turned his rap career into, which is obviously something that I think every artist on some level wants, um, just to reach that level of success based on your art. Um, so she's in this boardroom setting, she's got these pencil pushers, they're pixelated and blurred, and the way that 
Harvey's um, audience and people questioning her were, were blurred, which told me like she didn't care about them. They didn't register. Here, this is kind of like they're just there to support her. These are just the pencil pushers. She doesn't care. They're just doing the, the annoying little details of running a business. She's the boss. She's sitting there during a board meeting, just like all of them, right? All of them have been in this context where like Harvey's was, she was being interviewed and asked stuff by the paparazzi or whatever, and, and she just decided to take a moment to talk to the haters a little bit with the mics in her face. Maya, it looked like she was in the photo shoot. She had a, some downtime between shots, decided to drop a couple of bars. And then this one is like, Okona's a little bored in a board meeting. Bored in a board meeting. Yeah, there's, there's a bar. Uh, <laughs> um, that uh, she decided, oh, let me just drop some stuff real quick right here. So I like that. That's kind of the theme um, that I'm picking up for a lot of the way that they're filming these. Um, but also, obviously, it's a reference to Jay-Z, who has probably had to sit through a lot of boring board meetings. Yeah, I think people are going to talk. Hey. Yo. Okay. I like the way that she's about to change up the tempo here. We we appreciate that when they can do that. Crazy, don't forget your girl, told your kid. Hey. Obviously, we're talking about shoulders. You know, we were we made the reference already. Dirt off your shoulder, as the whole song is. But um, Thanos snapping. You haven't even seen half of me, like Thanos snapping. If you watch the Marvel movies, you know what happened with Thanos snap. Half of all of existence. Uh, everybody went poof. So that was a really nice reference. Hey. 99 problems. Came and saw it conquered. And I like that reference a lot. So 99 problems obviously is a reference, but then um, repeat it like an encore, and then she literally repeats it like an encore. So I think that was a clever way to reference that too. Hey. Okay. That's something that ever, it's part of the conversation, right? Everybody's got Jay-Z in their top five of all time. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that's probably a reference. Also, she probably wants to be one of the best. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Empire State of Mind. Another Jay-Z reference. Hey. Yo, I love this bar so much. Uh, <laughs> um, so... I already broke it down, but that's just such a clever way to reference um, his, again, just like the setting of the video is not referencing his music, it's referencing his business. Um, and then to have a reference her her actual um, performance as a meteor going through the sky, uh, going over everybody's heads, missing references, like I'm sure I've even missed some. Um, and then to reference Rockefeller is just so clever. Hey. And obviously, haters gonna get in their feelings, wishing for a reply. Another, just like with Harvey, a reference to all the talk, all the comments, all the haters, all the doubters, all the people throwing out accusations, valid or otherwise. Um, that's definitely a reference to that. And saying, you're not gonna get a reply from me, which is ultimately the way that you deal with trolls and haters is you starve them of the attention you can respond but eventually you have to show that you're better and that you're unbothered and that's kind of the that's kind of the route they're taking hey. and then obviously this is uh, continuing that's why I think that she probably this is probably done as an homage and reference video because I think she specifically uh, for hair styles and stuff like that has gotten pulled into a lot of conversations about culture and about respect and about appropriation. Um, so she's asking, she's asking the question. A lot of people are, am I a gift and a curse for the culture? Um, Cause there's, there are people who think that, um, you know, they shouldn't be doing this. There are people who, whether you think it's valid or not, think that only certain groups should participate in certain forms of art, whether it's music or fashion or style, uh, etc. Um, and then there are other people like me personally who think that it's a gift 
for the art and for the um, for the the style and for the fashion to have people come in with fresh perspectives to adapt to to make it into something that's to me that's that's how culture and art progress that's how they get better I'm not one obviously this isn't my conversation to have I'm not I'm not uh, personally qualified <laughs> to have that conversation in any way but um for whatever it's worth as a fan as an appreciator um as someone who's paid attention to a lot of stuff i don't think any culture i don't think any art form fashion style music hair i don't think anything is improved by gatekeeping and by not letting people in and by not sharing um what i do think is that there's a right and a wrong way to do it um there's a there's a respectful and a disrespectful way to do it and i do think that xg tries to do it in the respectful way um, but obviously that's not for me to decide um i think it's a very difficult conversation that i know people are going to have um fairly or unfairly and and that's obviously something that we just uh, as fans have to be open to and listen to and try to be respectful of but um i think that's definitely a reference to that uh because you you could make the argument either way, depending on what your perspective is about um, how people should participate and if they should participate at all. Okay. Every time it's going to hit different. So uh, that's another reference to a very common phrase. Everybody like, oh, this just hits different, right? You say it about food, you say it about whatever. Um, but you could also say that it hits different because she's going to change up her flow. She's going to change up her tempo. She didn't do the thing that everybody thinks Kokona is going to do. She didn't just hit you with the 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 low tone, you know, uh, delivery. What she did here is she gave us some changing tempos. She gave us a little more energy. She gave us a, a more melodic chorus. She didn't do the typical Kokona thing, um, and she made it hit different. And then obviously multiversal. Yep, the blueprint, another Jay Z reference. Hey, obviously, Ova reference. I mean, is is a reference. Hey. I love these camera angles. Okay. And this change up. Ooh. Yo. The way that she, uh, the way that we build up to that, she could have been saying that the whole time, but she wanted to do the homage thing, and then, and then we get the little twist, and then we get the little personality added on there, and then it's also talking about get the dirt off Kokona, you know, all the all the people that are trying to drag her down, have those conversations, be haters, be doubters, you know, gatekeep, whatever it might be, uh, right or wrong, she's not interested. She said, get that dirt off of me. And the way she delivers that, Kokona, oh, love that shit. Yes. Right out the beat. Very nice. Yeah, um, I like that a lot. Uh, like I said, my personal preference, I would have just liked a diss track or <laughs> not even a diss track. Could have been, you know, just, just more of her. But I do think that there is a good reason uh, for why she did this. I just think this might be an effort to prove something to people who just already feel the way that they feel, whether you think it's right or wrong. I don't know if this is going to change anyone's mind, though this is something that alphas are definitely going to use uh, the next time that they get accused of something. We're going to say, hey, look, she made a whole video that was just paying respect and homage to Jay-Z, showing the inspiration, showing the influence. Um, I don't know if that's going to change anyone's minds, to be honest, because I think that people feel the way they feel. And as I've said on, on Twitter, there I don't agree necessarily with the end point of those arguments, but I do understand why we got there. Uh, there is a history there that needs to be uh, contended with. It needs to be talked about. It needs to be listened to. Um, and then we just got to hope that we end up in the same place and we won't always. So um, you can definitely have those conversations, uh, you know, on Twitter where they belong. But <laughs> for this, uh, let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel. Uh, let me know if I missed any Jay-Z references or if I got any wrong because it's early. I'm tired. Uh, let me know uh, what you're hoping for from from Jurens, perhaps, and if you feel like it, you can rank the tapes so far. I don't think that really makes a ton of sense because I think they've all been very different. I don't, they're they're doing different things, but you know, just trying to farm engagement, I guess. So, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, stay fresh.